All right. God bless you. This is the servant of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I represent Jesus. Jesus wants you saved. You that believe the scripture, okay, you go in the church. You read the Bible. You read, uh, they say y'all to read the scripture every night. Read a verse every night. Read a verse every day. You have Bible study, so called. Uh, now, if you don't believe the Bible, okay. All right. Praise God, but it gets you to. I'm a believer. You believe false doctrine? I don't. So you believe it to believe? Okay. Now, dealing with the uh, mark of the beast. You and your churches in the church of God in Christ, in the Baptist, the Methodist, the Catholic, the Lutheran, apostolic faith, non nomination You have already registered to take the mark of the beast. You're already signed up. You already signed up. Praise God. You're already signed up to take the mark of the beast. Read the, th the whole 13th chapter of the book of Revelation. And keep reading on to the end. In your churches, Church of God in Christ, Baptist, Methodist, Episcopal, whatever church you belong to, you're already pre-registered. You're already registered to take, you're already signed up to take the mark of the beast. you already signed up. Do you know Well, then let me go here right quick. God knows. Let me go with Thessalonians. Yeah, God, you already signed up to take that mark. Uh, you already signed up to take the mark. You already registered. And you pre registered to take the mark. Y'all ready? Go to pray. Go to Second Thessalonians. Go to Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse eight. And the, wait a minute. Verse five. Well, we we better we better begin. I got with verse. Let me begin with verse one. Second Thessalonians two and one. You, you and your churches, you are already signed up, pre-registered to take the mark of the beast. The only difference is when the beast gets here and whoever take that mark, it's going to be too late. And now you have a chance to change course. But when that time comes, it's going to be too late. It's, it's Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the covenant of our Lord Jesus Christ. I already told you to read Revelation 13, chapter, and keep reading to the end. 
Now we, now we, test Lord, second test Lord, you, now we, now we beseech you, brethren, by the covenant of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, unto him, not unto bishop, we gather together unto him, not unto bishop. We ain't assembled together for, to, for a bishop. We gather together unto the Lord. We don't have to wear those certain colors in honor of bishop and supervisor of women. In honor of the bishop and supervisor of women, won't everybody wear black? Won't everybody wear your clergy tie in honor of bishop and supervisor of women? This ain't that. Now we in Second Thessalonians chapter two. Now we beseech you, brother, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto Him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind. All trouble be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by little hand from us, as the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, but they that they shall not come except there be a fall away first. And the man of sin be revealed the solid position. The man of sin. The man of sin. That word for this perdition was used with Judas. His action. Was the nail in so called, so to speak, the nail in the coffin? He pointed out Jesus to the enemy, to the false prophets. He did. They didn't know, Saul didn't know who he was, but Judas pointed him out. But Judah did. That man of sin be revealed. All right. All you talking. We ain't nothing of without sin. Your daddy coming. Your bishop coming to town. The beast. And the fall prophet. The son of position. Who oppose it. And exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped. So that he as God, seated in the temple of God. Showing himself that he is God. Uh huh. You, you know how you gonna oppose God and show you God, yet you opposing God. Remember, Jesus said, "By their fruit you shall know them." Oppose. He opposed all that is God. He opposes the scripture. He opposes the true saints. He doing that in that same temple. The scribe, the Pharisees, and the hypocrite opposed Jesus Christ in that same temple. It opposed the servant of God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Whoops, sheep clothed, remember. And now ye know what behold it, that what hold it, that he might be revealed in his time. It's not time for him to come up on the scene yet. Yet your pastor have already prepared you, your church of God in Christ, pastor, Baptist, Methodist, Apostolic, Lutheran, Episcopal, non-Lamination, Catholic, whatever you call yourself. 
they already registered you for when they preside the bishop call. For the mystery of iniquity do already work. Only he, wait, the mystery of iniquity is already working. Iniquity. Okay. You got iniquity. You got sin. You confess you got sin. You confess ain't nobody without sin. You confess ain't nobody perfect. That means iniquity. It's working in you. And you confess it all that. But you will not repent. You refuse to repent. Uh, someone contacted me. Hallelujah. This past weekend. I'm just choosing what I'm doing this. But this past weekend, someone contacted me. The, the message we preach on Sunday. Someone contacted me with the scripture. Say, if anybody say they ain't got no sin, they will lie. No, no scripture say nothing like that. For John 1 8, get, get me. See, so try to justify your sin. If we say we have no sin, we lie and see ourselves. That's right. If you got sin and you say you ain't got it, you a liar and you see yourself. But y'all got sin and you admit y'all got sin. You, 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 wait a minute. You worse than what John was talking. You admit you got it. You don't admit, you don't admit, well, I ain't got it. But you admit you got it. Then verse 9 say, if we confess our sin, he favors us to begin with and clean up all our right. And when you clean, you ain't done no more. And we went back and forth a little while. And I told him like I'm telling you. So it's all right. For people to molest, keep molesting people. Keep keep committing adultery. Keep murdering people. That's all right because ain't nothing that I'll see. Yeah. You better not say nothing to the robber. You, you better not say a word. The rapist, the murderer, the pedophile, you better not say a word to them because they ain't nothing that I'll see. First John 1 and 6, you say you have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, which is said, you are a liar and do not the truth. First John 1 6. So you walk in dark, you say, yeah, you got sin, you a lie. So if you say you, if you got sin and say you don't have sin, you a lie. Yeah, you see your own self. But you guys said, you are y'all bold devil. Well, we all got sin. Ain't no matter what outside. And you refuse to repair of your sin. When Jesus said, I cannot call the right but sin to repent. You refuse to repent. You confess it, but you don't repent it. You confess it to keep it and to try to justify it. When that time come, hallelujah. God go let it go let your daddy, the beast, the fall prophet wet until he take them out of the way. He gonna take them out, God know. But only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then that and then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. God gonna consume him. And shall destroy with the brightness of his cup. God go destroy him. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. After the working of Satan. And we told the fellow, Jesus don't lead no bad to sin. God don't lead no bad to sin. Satan leads you to sin. And your pastor leads you to see it because he's of the devil. With all power, sign, line, woman, 
with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Why you gonna perish? How you already signed up for the mark of the beast? Period. Because they receive not the love of the truth. You didn't. You didn't receive the love of the truth. You rejected it. Jesus said repent. You rejected it. Jesus said he's the son of God. You rejected it. Jesus, Jesus said the, 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 the Christ the end of the law. You rejected it. Jesus say, beware of all prophets. You rejected that and say, come on in, all prophet. Jesus said, a man like a sin, it, it like a sin of the abundant thing he possessed. You rejected that. Jesus said, free you give, free you receive. You rejected that and say, so see. You reject the love of the truth. You rejected repentance and you rejected God, no. Well, we bring you the truth. Well, ain't nobody perfect. Jesus said, be perfect. You said, you rejected and say, ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody without sin. Yeah, Jesus said, repent. Jesus said, believe. Jesus said, his blood take away our sin, remission of sin. Uh huh. Jesus said, he said, he'll save people from their sin. Jesus said, go sin no more. Jesus said, except you, he, he, that, he that break the least, one of the least of the commandments and teach me to do so. And you do it at God know. Oh, yeah. And for this call, when you say you rejected the truth, same one kill Steve rejected too. Same one fight against the scripture that I pray you rejected through. And for this call, because you rejected, God shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. You believe in the lie now. You believe in the lie now. And that they all might be damned. Remember, he that believe in him, baptized shall be saved. He that believe not shall be damned. Who believe not the truth. You didn't believe the truth. We told you to repent. Scripture told you to repent. Jesus said repent. Jesus said go sin no more. Jesus said continue my word. Jesus said keep my command. But you rejected the say, Well, ain't no other puppy. Ain't no other without sin. Jesus said, blood for every middle of sin. But had pledged in unright, pledged in sin. You had pledged in sin, you continued to sin. You had pledged in, and you would not repent, would not turn. Sin is sin. You can't say nothing to the rapist and the robber and the homosexual and the lady and the carjack and the child molester. You can't say oh and the drug dealer and smoke. You can't say nothing to them. Because you said, ain't nobody without sin. We all got sin. Sin is sin. You already registered to receive the mark of the beast. You already signed up. And when he be revealed, you're going to take that mark. Because you don't believe the truth. You don't believe the truth. No, no, the, no, the beast ain't going to deceive you. You don't know what you're doing. You're going to know what you're doing. Just like you know what you're doing now. It used to be, I ain't really, I'm not ready to be saved. I'm not ready to live that life. But now they fight the scripture. Now they fight Jesus. Jesus don't mean what he said. Ain't nobody without sin. Ain't none of them without sin. We can't help but sin. If you say you ain't got no sin, you a lie. You, you, 
You admit you got sin. You ain't saying you ain't got sin. You bold devil. You you admit you got sin. And you will not repent. You will not depart from iniquity. Uh -huh. Jesus say, everyone doeth evil, hate the light, need to come into the light. But you continue to do evil. Uh -huh. And talk about you say. You and your churches, you already signed up, registered to take the mark of the beast. Already. See, a lot of y'all look at the beast. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Revelation chapter 20. It's 10. And the devil that deceived them were cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are. <coughs> What's a false prophet? Your pastor. Yeah, it will be the false prophet. But you got false prophet now. You already registered. You already signed up to take the mark of the beast. Hallelujah. Now I'm not talking about no COVID shot or no booster shot. I got uh, some words in that coming. You already signed up. And there's a sister I keep, she preached on yesterday. I keep forgetting her name. I keep forgetting her name. Jackie. Don't, don't let me. Jackie Anderson, I believe it is. Let me. Yes. Jackie, Evangelist Jackie, Jackie Anderson. She preached the, the other day. Preached the truth. All before you die. If you die, same thing applies. You die evil, you die in your sin, in hell you're going to lift up, you're gonna, in hell you'll be cast. Fire your brimstone. Uh -huh. If you hear when the beast get here, you take it all. You're taking the ball. Read the 13th chapter. The only one who's not taking the ball is those whose name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Those are the ones who's not taking the ball. Everybody else taking the ball. Look at all the churches in the world. They false. Look at all the churches in the world, they false. Whatever your belief is, it's false. You, you, you see now, oh, you're taking that ball. The only one who won't take it, whose name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. And you're going to bow down to the image. Oh, yeah, you're going to worship the beast. Yes, you are. And you're going to know what you're doing like you know what you're doing now. You already signed up to take that mark. All right. Thank you, my good. You've been warned. You've been warned. You're going you gonna to curse the day you ever heard the scripture. You're going to curse the day you were born. Hallelujah. All right. That's enough. Thank you for that.